Ouz Demir, who joins me from Istanbul. He's the director of the EU Research Centre at Istanbul Commerce University. Uh, good to have you with us. So uh, we know that the ties between Germany and Turkey have been strained of late, partly because Turkey feels that it doesn't have Europe's support in its fight against terrorism. Uh, it looks as though this meeting has gone some way towards addressing that, with Germany saying that it wants to work close, more closely with Turkey over that issue. Yeah, yeah, you, you know the the, the main uh, the main the core of the visit by Angela Merkel to Turkey was uh, about the terrorism effects, especially in the in the last year due to the uh, due to the war in Syria and the IS uh, the IS thing. You know they uh, they really needed to to continue talking about those topics with Turkey and the Turkey situation in after fifteen. Uh, 15 July coup attempt. You know, it it make it made us uh, to have a little bit internal agenda to be more than the external agenda. So uh, th this this visit by Angela Merkel to Turkey was very important for both parties. Uh, Merkel did say, though, that Turkey uh, should respect more the freedom of the press and the freedom of the expression. How will Turkey respond to that? I think you know the, 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 this is a discussion not not for 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 the last uh, several weeks, but it it has started since the, after the 15th of uh, 15th July coup attempt. So there was a uh, the Tur Turkish government, based on the coup attempt f uh, failure and the coup attempters to be captured uh, and uh, punished in in the in the legal process, and the state of emergency in Turkey also affected these processes. So this this is a uh, this is a demand in which. Is coming like you know a little bit ignoring what Turkey experienced in 15th of July. So of course you know freedom of speech or you know uh, the freedom of media they, they are really important topics in terms of the Turkish agenda too. But on the other hand, what happened in Turkey and the state of emergency started after 15th of July coup attempt. You know it, it was dominating the process. Now the government inside is trying to figure out who were involved to these processes and in, during this process some some kind of measures which might be weird for the European standards could be discussed during this process and that's why Angela Merkel you know couldn't understand the situation exactly you know in terms of what is going on so she, she it's very normal for European counterparts to say these things but I think they should understand more what happened in 15th of July in Turkey yeah, indeed. Uh, one of the uh, one of the key issues for Europe, of course, is the refugee problem. Uh, Angela Merkel said uh, that talked about the refugee, the migrant deal that um, that had been reached with Turkey, and said uh, that two billion euros had been agreed. Some of that had been paid. It is fair to say that Turkey hasn't got everything that it was promised in that deal. Is Turkey still prepared to stand by it? I think this this is this is the main reason of Merkel's visit because the upcoming elections in Germany and the deals ownership by Angela Merkel in all Europe and in Germany uh, she should she should convince Turkey to to stay loyal to the deal and because of the uh, previous uh, incidents in, in agency with Greece and the Cyprus issue and the Turkey-EU negotiation process and the visa-free regime uh, rejection by the European leaders and also the European Parliament's decision about stopping the Turkey-EU negotiations, these are all pushing Turkey to be, you know, to be more uh, suspicious about the deal's future. So as a result, the Turkey's claims on the deal for future to stop it or, you know, to, to renegotiate it. I think that's why Merkel is very uh, keen to sustain the, uh, the, the the refugee deal. But I'm not sure if the Turkish government w will will give her back whatever she wanted because still these four regions about the negotiations decision by the European Parliament and the European political leaders' uh, perspective. On on Turkey and the visa-free regime and the claims that you mentioned before about the freedom of speech, freedom of media and the, uh, the terrorism laws in Turkey, you know, they, they're really uh, coming, coming tough for the Turkish government to move now. So as a result, I don't think that Merkel will be able to get whatever she wanted during her visit in Turkey now. Oz Demir, thank you very much indeed for joining us, uh, the director of the EU Research Centre at Istanbul Commerce University there.